Uh, my first question is, what drew you to your unsung hero? Um, I touched a little bit on this in my essay on the hero, but I think it really resonated with a lot of what's going on right now and a lot of what's been going on. Um, Cheyenne Webb was very, very young mm -hmm. and younger than most protesters you see nowadays, but you do see a lot of young people like leading the movement when it comes to like currently like the Black Lives Matter movement when it came to like protests about global warming, like you see all these young people like trying to make an impact because this world has been kind of left in tatters by like issues long ago. Mm -hmm. And I felt like Webb's story really resonated both with a lot of the issues going on in America right now and how a lot of young people are responding to these issues. So yeah. her story resonated with me through that. That especially makes sense too, because your generation is like inheriting everything with like climate change and exactly. yeah, makes sense. Um, and then one thing I noticed was that there's like a lot of symbolism with the colors you use and the items you used in your artwork and even down to like the police officer's badge uh, or the yeah. helmet and then your Maya Angelou reference. How did you decide on incorporating all these different elements? It was like... I felt like these are things that I just like found along the way and like I introduced kind of naturally because mm -hmm. like I at first really struggled with like finding who I wanted to portray for my Unsung Hero project but once I really started like researching web and getting into the actual like peacemaking like all these I felt like it, her story was so complex and it was like this small part of like a much greater story that's pretty horrific and I wanted to I can't relate to that personally, but I wanted to illustrate it pretty in depth with like the resources that I had. So I wanted like everything to represent something from like the color to the like imagery in the background, touching on the broader issue to like um, the bird in the sky, which goes way back um, and kind of gets to the core of the issues of like racism in America that um, Cheyenne was protesting against. So. Yeah. That's really cool that you paid so much focus to all those like little things and uh, kind of on that like your artwork had so much attention to detail and symbolism. Is this something you strive for in like all your artwork or is this something that you just wanted to focus on mainly for this Unsung Hero? I think I think the Unsung Hero project is like I think it's introduced it into a lot of my artwork like I definitely had an attention to detail before but like how much work and thought I put into this piece. Like I saw it, like I just finished a series for my current art class and there was like so much imagery put in there intentionally or otherwise that I discovered after the fact. And I feel like that was heavily impacted by like the work that I did for the piece on web. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool to see like all these different things connect and how you like can learn from one thing and put it to something else. Yeah. Um, have you channeled your unsung hero at all during these, as these current events unfold and like racial equality, I feel like right now is in our lifetime, it's like mostly at the forefront as a current event issue, even though it's been a long standing issue. Um, so yeah, have you channeled Cheyenne since everything going on? Absolutely, like yet again, I'm a white person. I'm never going to understand the experience of black people in America, even if I try to be sympathetic to it and I try to um, listen to their voices. But definitely, like my family and I have been going to protests in our area. We've been going to we've been signing petitions. We've been donating. We've been doing everything that we can. Actually, a quote from Webb was a sign that I brought to my first protest in Princeton. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. Um, and then you spoke about the power of using your voice in your artist statement. Um, has your unsung hero inspired you to use your voice in any other ways? Absolutely. It's, I feel like it's a personal responsibility of a lot of people right now to like, if you have people who don't understand what's going on or they're not very sympathetic to it, to reach out to them because it's like, you don't want to put the onus on black people to be responsible for the racism of white people, but you can reach out to people you know and try to explain to them why the situation is unfolding as it is and where this is coming from and how this is justified. Um, so on a much more personal level, I have been using my voice to reach out to people that I know aren't necessarily sympathetic to Black Lives Matter 
they're blaming the protests for like all this looting and like saying that the protests are, gen are generally violent. Um, so I've been trying to use my voice more, even though it can be sometimes very uncomfortable um, to reach out to my friends and family and let them know why the things they're saying aren't okay or try to help them understand what's going on. That's super important too, just because it's easier, I feel like, to have a dialogue with strangers and to engage with people. There aren't much, there isn't much of a stake to lose them, but it's harder to do that with your friends and family if they're your friends and family, yeah. And yeah, it's even more important because they're going to listen to you more than they're going to listen to a stranger online. Exactly, because you know? then it's not just the opposition, but it's someone that you care about who has an opinion. Yeah. yeah. Um, how, what, when did your interest in art even spark and do you want to pursue art in the future as a career? Um, I was like, I was um, one of those like kids where like I got a lot of praise from art teachers. Like I was considered like naturally gifted. And of course, it comes with the upside where I was very encouraged to do art, but also I didn't try very hard, like when I was developing my art skills, admittedly. Um, so I did a lot of it when I was younger, and then I kind of fell out of it. But um, we moved to MDI in Maine, and um, I started having like a lot of low alone time, and I was struggling with a lot of personal issues and familial issues. And I kind of used my art pieces in a very similar way that I was using um, my piece for the Unsung Heroes Project, where I channel these issues of like gender and sexuality and like broken homes and like poverty, and I I channeled it into these art pieces that helped me contextualize my situation and feel better about it and understand what was going on with me internally. Mm -hmm. And I'm absolutely interested in like I think it's so important right now, especially because like you think about the arts, like a lot of people have the privilege of like. Um, being able to like go to a school and like take an art class and be able to pursue art in the future, but that's not widely available to a lot of communities. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of like, especially poor communities where you see a lot of people of color, like they don't have access to the arts because it's the first thing that's going to be cut in any school that's being underfunded. So like I would absolutely love to do something where like I could help introduce art to like people who might not have the resources or like options to take an art class or to get interested in art or be involved in it. So like that's, I've been thinking a lot more about like, especially because of this project, how I can use my art and my voice to introduce the things that have helped me to other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. It, there's more that can be done that isn't just straight on a legislative side or like a protesting and everything like there's so much value in creative things too so that's dope um communities too. sorry what was that that's in the communities too that's the yeah yeah exactly part. yeah um and you kind of touched on this but what aspects of your personal life uh impact the art you make um can i get really personal is that okay yeah yeah of course like i grew up with like single mom we like she had to like her education was kind of interrupted by my birth um so i both had this issue where i was like coming from despite my mom being amazing and being a great mother like i had this broken home where like i was really struggling with both like the reasons why i didn't have this relationship with my father because he was bipolar and like how his mental illness is affecting me and like how it might affect my future and art was like this, it was so important to me because like I didn't have these channels to like talk about this or help me understand these issues. Like I had to, when I was a lot younger, I had to do it on my own. So I used art to kind of like, it gave me some emotional intelligence. Like I didn't really, I know what I was feeling, but I didn't know where it was coming from and help, art helped me understand that. Mm -hmm. And then it got into like, when I started struggling with things that are like a lot more common nowadays, like my sexuality, like art was definitely, um, since I had honed the skill of like being able to funnel my emotions through my art, that helped me figure that stuff out too. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad yeah. that you found some kind of outlet. I, a lot of people struggle when they don't have any way to ex yeah. explore those emotions. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, who are your current art inspirations, if you have any? Oh, geez. It's a lot of, I definitely appreciate and respect a lot of, like, the kind of, like, art masters, people who you see a lot of, like, art history classes and whatnot. 
but like there's something to be said about like artists with small platforms and artists that are like young people who are just like making art that reflects their current situation yeah totally. like, I, yeah like I follow a lot of artists who are like my age or like a little bit older than me who are like they're making this incredible art that like is speaking to the current situation and like maybe they're not like they're no Picasso they're no like Van Gogh they're not going to get like a lot of recognition but there's something to be said about like these artists with small platforms and it, they're ultimately like a lot easier to connect to and a lot more human because they're not in the past. Yeah, so, yeah for sure. Um, and what are your goals with your own artwork and uh, what are the messages that you want to communicate overall? I, this is something that I have been struggling with because like I have this kind of platform, however small it might be as an artist and I have this ability to kind of um, make art that portrays the current situations what other people are struggling with. But like, you can also use art to amplify the voices of other people. Like, so I really wanna use my art and my art skills to not necessarily tell the stories of other people, especially in situations where I can't understand where they're coming from, what they're struggling with, but to give them recognition and put them out there. Cause like you see like, I feel like nowadays, like there's such a separation between like these things that we think are like way in the past, but like they're here right now. Like there are people who are saying it's like, I've seen posts all over that are like Angela Davis is like, who's going to be the Angela Davis of this like generation when like Angela Davis is the Angela Davis of this generation, you know? She's like, still here. <laughs> still. Yeah. yeah. But it's so easy to like look at all these horrible things because we know they're horrible now. And like, be like, oh, this is like ancient history. This is way in the past. This is, like, I'm not a part of this, but like, you kind of need to remind people about like what's going on currently. And you can do that through like, like the Cheyenne Webb piece. Like Cheyenne Webb is still, she was very active and remains active. She was like, um, she was still using her voice to amplify the voices of other black people. Um, and when you tell her story, you both remind people that like these problems are here and now mm -hmm. and you need to address them and like you amplify these black voices who are going to speak most honestly and most accurately to these experiences they're having in america because it's so life yeah exactly yeah 